day or given the, the full extent that's been revealed of West Coast injury problems on the weekend, do you reflect upon that and feel like we should have won by more? Uh, no, not really. No, 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 no. Uh, I thought we went away from our footy and, like I said, post-game, they gave a good swing in that third quarter. Um, you know, like, uh, up to a half-time, I didn't think fatigue had settled in. We'd kicked 58 points, 22 points up. thought we played some really good footy in that first half. Um, then, yeah, they got tied late and we you know, put what, seven goals on them, six goals on them in the last quarter. So, yeah, like, um, understand their injury issues, but... Yeah, I thought we took a step forward. Said that after the game. So, f- yeah, I've moved on as well. Focusing on Adelaide now. Just on your own injuries, Heath Chapman. Um, yeah. How do you replace a, a player of that sort of competitive hunger and athleticism? Um, well, we've got pretty good depth. I mean, um, haven't gone through selection yet, but you know, Walks has been waiting in the wings. He played a lot of footy for us over the last couple of years, and he's been itching for a go. So, um, yeah, it's disappointing to lose Chappie because, you know, he's an important player for us and thought he played a really good role on the weekend. But, um, yeah, we feel like we've got some depth there that um, can fill that space. Just on Fifey, obviously the, the recovery's not linear. I think Peter Bell said yesterday that you're looking at trying a few uh, different things. Are you mm. able to give us any info on, on the program tweaks? No, yeah, like I've been saying, it's just, it's hard to, it's a bit unpredictable the injury so um yeah we've already tried a few things um got some improvement but just not as much as we would have liked so um you know, we, we feel like it could you know come good pretty quick and we could see him you know, maybe gold coast game but um yeah like i've been saying it's it's just a bit unpredictable so we just take it week by week will he travel to adelaide with the side not not with the side no nah, no nah. um you know, we'll probably take pretty um small squad for the first game and you know, it's exciting we've got Peel starting this week and Friday night footy for them and we want to get as many guys playing um, at Peel as we can um, and get their season underway and get some you know, good match fitness so take a pretty small squad for the first game and then um, we'll, we'll you know, fly some guys over if needed. Luke Jackson really seemed to come into his own on the weekend, a couple of goals, 17 disposals, how did you uh, rate his performance on Sunday? Yeah, he was one player that took a step forward and, and probably more made more of his opportunities. Like I've been saying, he's been creating some opportunities for himself, probably just hasn't cashed in and got some reward for effort on the weekend. You know, 17 possessions is great, but oh, he had seven tackles. So his work around the ball and his ability to put pressure on um, was really strong. And yeah, it was good to see him finish with a couple of marks and, and um, a couple of goals. And uh, playing he and uh, Sean Darcy together in the midfield at times, was that more of a match-up thing against the Eagles or is that something we can see? No, it's something we're going to look to evolve with Luke. I've said it multiple times, he's a, he's a really good ground-level player. He's, um, he's a hard he's a hard matchup given his size um, around there. He's got some work to, um, to do on his stoppage craft and those sorts of things, but you know, he's a long-term player with Luke. Yeah, we didn't... We didn't um, get him to the club for his first three weeks of his of his career. We, so we, we hope he's here for you know ten ten years. So we look to evolve his game and um, you know try and evolve us as a team as well. So um, yeah, I thought you know, it worked okay on the weekend. It's going to work better the more experiences he gets there. I thought those two operated really well together and um, you know Sean hit the scoreboard could have you know, could have easily kicked three goals himself. So. Um, yeah, I thought that matchup took a step forward, or that that duo. What did you make of it? Of his just that roving role when he was uh, he's obviously started him at the centre bounce uh, and not as the ruckman. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get better the more more we do it. That's his yeah, he's probably only played a handful of centre bounces as a midfielder in his whole life. So um, I think there's plenty of work with there. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, the more we do it, the better we'll get. Back on Brandon Walker, um, are you able to say why you sort of went away from him and back in favour of Nathan Wilson, I guess, there, sort of after the one spot? Well, just Willow was going slightly better, and it was only slightly. Um, and he only fit seven guys in there, and you know, we were always cautious of the balance between talls and smalls down there. And um, yeah, it was probably last year, Walks had the upper hand, and Wilson just had a really good pre season. And, 
um, yeah, it's swung the ledger in his favour, but only slightly. So, um, you know, if we could have played eight down there, we would have played eight because we, we love what Walks does. But um, unfortunately, one had to miss out. You omitted uh, Will Brody. Is there something <coughs> he's been sent away to work on, or is he just, um, I don't know, just only just squeezed out of the team? Oh, it's, yeah, clearly. Yeah, there's some things he needs to work on in his game. He, he wasn't bringing his strengths and we saw his strengths all last year and that's what he built his game on and just probably went away from that in the first two weeks. So, um, yeah, I want to get him back to his best. Uh, I still see him as a um, big part of our future and yeah, he'll work on a couple of areas of his game and he'll come back better for it. Yeah, and is he likely to yeah, spend a bit of time with Peel? Uh, we'll work through that. Um, yeah, there's a chance he could travel this week um, to the Adelaide game, but... Um, yeah, there's a good chance you could play for Peel as well. We haven't. We need to talk about that this afternoon. And the Crows, uh, yeah, can you give your assessment on them? What do you think is the, the key to getting the job done there? Uh, just, yeah, I think um, really good in the contest, really high work rate. Um, yeah, and yeah, their forward line is real dangerous. So, um, yeah, we need to limit the supply. Um, they've got a m good mix down there. It looks like uh, with you know their tools impacting aerially. And um, yeah, as small as at ground level are dangerous. So um, yeah, we're going to have a hands full. They're, they're a team in good form. Matt Johnson obviously rewarded with his debut. How, what did you make of his <coughs> first game? Yeah, I thought he, he worked his way into it really well. Um, yeah, I saw some of his strengths with his composure in the contest. Um, yeah, and it can be hard sometimes to come in to um, a game like that and, and play on the wing. So he, yeah, I thought he had a good impact. Got him on ball late, which is probably going to be his role later in his career but got him on ball late and he yeah, showed some good moments and yeah he just to have some of that um, youthful ex, ex, um, um, enthusiasm around the group can sometimes lift those around him so um, yeah he's a great player to set up yeah um, Brayshaw's goal in the last quarter which got us rolling um, so yeah yeah he, he enjoyed it and he'll build off that. Is there someone you see retaining the spot for the week? Yeah I think so uh, we haven't sat through selection yet but um, yeah, yeah, similar role would probably fit. Michael Walters um, playing through the, the full game on Sunday went pretty well. Two up in the uh, the forward line. Um, How did you see? You know, did he hold up well after the game, body wise? No dramas. Yeah, he's recovered well. So he yeah he brings great energy to us, and um, I think we've seen that in the six quarters he's played. He's, the energy he plays with lifts those around him. Um, yeah, and obviously his skill set is is pretty handy as well. I thought he played really well. Back to back games in six days. How do you guys sort of um, prep the group for that with the travel as well? And um, how can you draw on your previous hub experiences for this mini hub stint? Oh, we'll, we'll draw on that. Uh, the first game is just a normal travel game, and then the, the difference is we're staying on over, not coming home. So just really focusing on the Adelaide game at the moment, not getting too far ahead of ourselves. Our full focus is on Adelaide. We'll deal with yeah the week after when we. Um, yeah, finish the Adelaide game. Is there any chance we see Matt Fife playing for Peel again? Uh, uh, yeah, I haven't really thought that far ahead. We'll get to how we re-enter him back into the team when he's fit.